between beauty, routine, good talk about culture. So let me start with the slideshow. So it's from culture part one. Culture is a way of life. A culture is a way of life of a group of people, the behavior, beliefs, values, and symbols that they accept generally without thinking about them. And they are passed along by communication and imitation from one generation to the next. So, very simply, when we say culture, it's that culture is a way of life. <coughs> it means the way in which we lead our life is our culture. Our behavior, our beliefs, values, and symbols, whatever we use in our daily life, are uh, the part of culture. And it means that our behavior, our beliefs, our values are given to us by our parents and from us, they will be given to our next generation. So, this is what culture means. Culture is the sum total of the learned behavior of a group of people that are generally considered to be the tradition of the people and are transmitted from generation to generation. So, culture is something which is learned. Whatever I know, about my culture, whatever one people, one man or one woman know about the culture, these are all, all learned and these are being passed on from generation to generation. Now the next slide, meaning of culture. It is the main concept in anthropology, but it is essential or fundamental in sociology. So, the concept of culture is actually learned and studied in both the areas of anthropology and sociology. Secondly, the study of society becomes incomplete without a proper understanding of the culture of society. So, like the importance of the studying of culture, because when we study society, when studying sociology, we have to study culture. Without studying culture, it cannot be completed. Because when we are studying society, uh, we have to study the way of life of the particular society, whatever society you are studying. In the same manner, when anthropology, when people in anthropology are studying culture, they are also giving equal importance to the study of culture. Culture and society go together they are inseparable. So, this is such an important part. That is why culture is being studied. That the way society continues, culture will also continue. It will, it will change, definitely. Or we can say culture will incorporate certain new things within it. It, will, it might take more components within it. In, uh, in it, uh, it might change its shape or form, but yes, as soon as society continues, culture will also definitely continue. Definition of culture. <clears throat> Taylor says that culture is that complex whole which includes knowledge, belief, art, moral, law, custom, and any other capabilities acquired by men as a member of the society. So, from the understanding of Taylor, we, he says that um, culture consists of beliefs, art, moral, law, customs, and other capabilities. So, this is the understanding of Taylor that what should be there in a culture. Next is robotic. Culture is a body of thought and knowledge, both theoretical and practical, which only man can possess. Okay, according to Roberti, theory is a, a theory, culture is a body of thought and knowledge, both theoretical and practical. So, here, um, Roberti 
is talking about the non material culture and when i say practical um, i can say uh, this material culture so in the definition or understanding of property he has talked about the material and non material culture of the society next is cc north who says that culture consists in the instrument constituted by man to assist him in satisfying his wants so definitely the definition given by cc north is also being told about the material culture uh, to a very nice extent because he says that culture consists in the instrument constituted by man to assist him in satisfying his wants Firstly, uh, if I say non-material, uh, not sorry. If I say material culture, we can say technologies because technologies help us in satisfying our wants. Secondly, I can also talk about non-material culture because music and music is such a thing which actually gives our us pleasure. We are psychologically satisfied, and uh, we. are in a state of calm calmness whenever we are not happy so in cc north definition he is indicating both about the material culture and non material culture so with this i just finish my presentation here thank you